What's up, nail geeks, and welcome to Monarch Lacquer's July release video. This is part of my Polish and Beauty Expo mini series in which I am spamming the hell out of all of you this week. If you have not seen my Polish and Beauty Expo uh, exclusive video, go check that out. I'll have it in the description box linked and you can see what Monarch Lacquer is bringing as exclusives to the PBE show. We have two new milk bath polishes. I so love Adrian's milk bath polishes. They are milky, just soft, almost office vibe type of colors, and they always have just beautiful shimmer going throughout them. Uh, those actually silently launched on her website, so you can grab those now if you want. But we've also got a new trio, the Truth or Dare trio, that is a uh, identical finishes to her popular Truth or Dare polish that released through Polish Pickup in March that also came back for Rewind this month. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Starting off with Spin the Bottle. This is described as a neon red base with blue shimmer and black glitter. I know this is going to get so ridiculously skewed across monitors, so just in case this is what I would consider a true neon red. However, the shimmer gives it a pink sort of lean. So really interesting, a very unique type of red neon. I usually see red neons have a bit of an orangey tone to it, but this has more of a pinky tone. So super pretty. The shimmer is quite strong. I thought two coats was perfect. It has an incredibly creamy, smooth formula. Now you'll want to finish with a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat, as this will have a touch of thirstiness and texture from those round glitters. Freeze Dance is described as a bold green base with blue shimmer and black glitter. This is really pretty. I, the three colors in this set are just so perfect. I think they're going to be universally flattering across skin tones. And if I'm completely honest, as much as I adore the shimmer in each of these and the glitter mix for that matter, I would love to see a cream trio to go along with this. It is just really flattering colors overall. Again, we have a curly type formula. It is easy to build to opacity. I mean, all three of these across the board, two coats is all you need. If you go anything beyond that, you are going to be overworking it and just, just putting too much on your nails. Two is perfect. Again, you're seeing a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat on my full hand shots. Scavenger Hunt rounds out the trio with a lemon lime neon base with blue shimmer and black glitter. So this is what I would completely agree with the official description. We've got this true lemony color with a touch of a green undertone. With that said, I'm not seeing this chartreuse lean in person. So it doesn't really have this bright, prugly sort of look. It's truly a, what I would consider like a, a sprite type of color. Again, very flattering and it's perfect for summer and it's just super pretty. Again, you're seeing that glitter smoother and glossy top coat on the full hand shot and on my photos here. Please keep in mind that Adrian did say I got confirmation that these are not going to be remixed once sold out. Peaches and Cream is a new milk bath polish. This was silently released in the shop, sneaky sneaky. Peaches and Cream is described as a light creamy peach with delicate red to orange to gold shimmer. Adrian does these shimmers so ridiculously well, and I think both of the new Milk Bath polishes are also going to be universally flattering. Now, while this is what I would consider a warm overall appearance, as to me, the base is kind of cool leaning, but the shimmer is what it's warming up that inner glow, I still thought it popped really well against myself. So chef's kiss on that. This is what I would consider like an amped up type of neutral, almost office appropriate, if you will. And Keep in mind, these are mixed to be on the more somewhat sheer side. I would classify them as being a soft type of buildup. So personally, I would wear them at three coats and a glossy top coat. And finally, we've got Milk and Lilac. This one is described as a soft, warm, purple pastel base with blue-green shimmer. Again, another universally flattering shade. It's clean. It's 
quite a bit of a palette cleanser. And I also chose to wear this one at three coats and a glossy top coat. Both of the Milk Bath polishes have a natural plumping type formula to them. So no need to overwork it. And honestly, I had no issues with brush strokes either. So kudos on that. These are very user friendly. Of course, that paddle brush definitely does the work for you too. I think any glossy top coat is perfect. You don't really need a plumping one as again, these both have a curly plump finish to them. Though if you've never tried a Monarch's gel-like top coat, that is a perfect ideal plumping top coat that I'm always talking about. It's a great example of that. And we're gonna wrap this up with a quickie will it topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have layering capabilities. So the Truth or Dare Trio, I was very shocked. I thought all three were going to be incredibly opaque, too opaque, too creamy-like to topper well, but I was pleasantly surprised. But with that said, because they're so loaded with shimmer, if you layer these as cool as they look, just be a little mindful of your brush strokes because we are thinning out the overall look using it over a undie of some sort, and you'll want to make sure your shimmer appears evenly. Same thing goes for the Milk Bath polishes as these are lighter type of finishes. So just be mindful of that and slowly build that up if you're gonna wear an undie. Otherwise, I think across the board, all five polishes in this video work. So as I previously mentioned, uh, the Milk Bath polishes have silently, sneakily, I should say, been released to the website. And the Truth or Dare trio is going to launch first at the expo. And then after the expo is when you can get your paws on these if you are not attending the event. Now, please note, um, I did ask Adrian if the Truth or Dare trio is limited or not. And she did say, yes, they are limited in that whatever she's poured, that's it. So uh, grab them if you are wanting them once they get on the website. Otherwise, you're going to you're going to miss out because these are limited editions. But rest assured, Adrian usually pours quite a bit. So don't super panic in that regard. Um, just I just want to be 100 percent out there with all the info I have at the moment. I'll have all the information in this video in the description box below, and I will link you to Monarch Lacquer's website. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.